is back. Arky is back. Got all these bitches screaming now. Arky is back. All eyes on me. Now I'm back in the Bronx. I represent the world from the back and the front. Straight on Parksville. Get me out of that place. Now I'm in the city. I got moved to Mink. It go. Arky is back. Arky is back. Got all these bitches screaming out. Arky is back. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, folks? I'm back. I'm finally back in the Bronx. Finally back in the Bronx. Only this time, I'm in a, I'm in the Bronx shelter um, by Hoe Avenue. I mean, beforehand, uh, as announced on Facebook. I was on, I was in Ward's Island, Psych Ward's Island, one of the most dirtiest, filthiest places ever. I mean, it was, I mean, it just, it just made number one on the list of dirtiest shelters ever. I mean, thank God, when I asked to, uh, to be, I uh, moved to another room because I'm, I'm currently using a CPAP machine. Which uh, prevents snoring and allows me to lose all this weight I got. As you can see. And I went from, and honestly, um, when, uh, including with, uh, with the videos that you saw, uh, saw me in, um, I was waiting in there um, at 250 something pounds, 247 to uh, 250 something pounds. Now all of a sudden, now, thanks to the medication that Daytop gave me, I've been dropping weight like month after month after month. And it's been kind of working ever since, but as you can see, there's a lot of people not talking in the background, so. Um, um, well, I was then transferred to, um, to this place. In the borough I am born and raised in. Uh, for, uh, for years on end. And I have a lot to say when I'm, I'm on why. I'm back, you know, because I mean, part of it, which I wish is that um, that my uh, that my family and friends are pretty much in shambles right now. They, um, I mean, I don't want to get into details with that, but that not only that my friends are going through it, I'm going through it, my family's going through it. And I refuse to stand idly by even more to let a program hold me back even long, uh, even longer now. To let a program hold me back even longer and let everything crumble. All right, I've seen people lose families, lose friends, lose wives, girlfriends, childs, children. I mean. It's just crazy, you know. I mean, and unfortunately, my uh, it's up in the air with, with my relationship status uh, right now. It's just, it's just nuts, you know. But what can I do? You win some, you lose some. But I'm not gonna stay focused on that. I'm gonna stay focused on me. I'm gonna continue to stay focused on myself and continue to stay focused on what I need to do in order for me to get back on my feet. 
even without Dita's help. What? Okay, take it back to the mirror real quick. Where else can I find a mirror? Can I mirror? <laughs> that pretty much about sums it up, can it? I mean. Here I am, eight months of physical, mental torment. It's amazing how I got this far to finally get to this point. To finally, I mean, let's be honest. It took for you know, it took for a big blob of a of a twenty one year old man. To want to not to want to be an upstart and as a gen as a genius mind uh, as I am as smart as I am I mean you know posting up a um, posting up a, um, a, 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 of a of a note that says I will not leave this room. I will not leave my dorm room until I am to transferred or or discharged. All right, it's tough for an awkward person to want to want to write graffiti on my on my note to um uh, to want, uh, want me to start lashing out on him. And being that uh, that uh, that uh, the top management was uh, was too lazy to make a move as fast as possible, I did what I had to do. I kicked the bastard in uh, in, uh, in between his legs. Got got this. And now I'm in uh, now I'm in the cell. I shall too. Which I had to sacrifice fifty percent of my clothing. I had to sacrifice fifty percent of my clothing just to get uh, just to line the load because I was carrying too much bags. I was sweating. I, I was sweating. Had to go to a hospital. Had to run. I uh, had to having to run to my uh, my best friend uh, and uh, and our mother. You know, shout out to um, Lady Diamond and um, Rosalind. I know you go. I mean, I know you guys are going through it. As much as I hate to broadcast this on on air, but I just want to let you know that I love you. I, I'm here to support you the same way you supported me for the past year I was living with you guys regardless of how much shit we went through we always have a bond that uh, that is unbroken and I, I cannot thank you enough as, as well as everybody everybody else is on, on for their support I cannot thank you enough and now it's my turn to show you that, uh, that, I'm, uh, that I'm capable of holding my own Uh, that's it folks